Today was an historic day in Philadelphia as the city's first monument of an African American on public land was unveiled. It took 15 years for a statue of Octavius V. Cotto to go up outside City Hall. And that's where we find KYW News Radio reporter Cherry Gregg, who was there for the monumental occasion. Cherry. Good evening, Jessica and Yuki. I mean, today was amazing. It was inspiring, it was educational, and above all else, it's a day that the hundreds in attendance won't soon forget. It was a joyous occasion. The unveiling of this three-part memorial to Octavius V. Cato, a man who in just 32 years of life changed Philadelphia and the country. Hopefully all of us can be expired inspired by the courage and determination of O.V. Cato. Mayor Jim Kenney led the 15-year effort to erect this $2.2 million sculpture comprised of a 10-foot statue of Cato, five pillars shaped like a streetcar, and a reflective ballot box, all symbolic of his life. He was a military recruiter of black soldiers in the Civil War. He was a leader in an effort uh, in Philadelphia to desegregate horse-drawn streetcars. Murray Dubin and Dan Biddle spent decades working at the Philadelphia Inquirer before they individually stumbled upon Cato, the Civil War hero, educator, and baseball shortstop who later galvanized the black male vote was so intriguing, they teamed up to pen Tasting Freedom, which chronicles Cato's exemplary life and tragic death. He was murdered on Election Day in 1871 by a white political operative named Frank Kelly in front of dozens. Leaders of Philadelphia of both races uh, went through, I think, a paroxysm of grief and shame and anger and staged what's been described as the biggest public funeral in the city. How would you summarize Cato's legacy? You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be powerful. You just have to be committed. Committed to change at a time when much is happening. He's here to inspire. Now, dozens of people have been stopping by all evening since we got here just to take a look at this new statue of Octavius V. Cato. Now, the sculptor, his name is Branley Cadet. He's a Haitian American, and he said he wanted this statue to be accessible, so he made it low to the ground so people can literally come by, stop, and touch it and be inspired. Live at City Hall, Cherry Gregg, KYW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News. An historic day indeed. Cherry, thank you.